<sighs> beef. I've got beef. I am sleeping in a bed, my own bed. I wake up at like six in the goddamn morning with the most terrifying pain all up in here, just neck areas, my neck parts. I hadn't been injured. I could not think of a conceivable reason why I'd have pain in my neck so bad that it took me about 20 minutes to just roll over onto my feet. I need to go see a doctor, but it's like a Saturday. So I decided the emergency room, probably a good idea. There have been radio ads running for Seton's emergency room. Seton's a series of hospitals here. Online waiting room, you go online, you sign up for a period of time, so you don't have to actually wait at the waiting room. I make sure Seton's is in my insurance list. Sign up for their little uh, waiting room. It says, come at like 11.15, we'll see ya. You're doing great, honey. I walk up there and I'm just like, everything hurts, please help me. Sure, we'll call you in a few minutes. Here's a bracelet for your hand, cause you look so cute. I'm just kind of sitting there like, Neh. Ugh. Ugh. And imagine just a steady st stream of tears coming down. I looked great. They call me. A lovely person takes all of my vitals, asks me what the fuck's going on. She says, okay, got all this information. Go back out there and we'll call you. But I, but you said, you said I could wait at home. I've already been waiting for like four hours. Please, please can someone see me? I didn't say all that because I'm non-confrontational and just keep, ugh. I do what I'm told, go back out in the right waiting room. After the first 30, 45 minutes, I'm like, there is a medical emergency, a minor emergency just down the street. Can I peace out and go there? Walk up there and I say, I'm in a lot of pain. I'm thinking of going to a minor emergency. Since I've already seen someone and I've got this thing on my bracelet, am I going to be charged? The consensus is that I have been triaged, so I will be charged something regardless of whether I stay or leave. Great. So I'm sitting there for three and a half hours. So I see a doctor. The doctor is in the room with me for five minutes, five maximum. Takes a look, says your neck muscles just decide they hate you, that sucks. We'll give you some muscle relaxers and some really strong painkillers. Take it easy for a couple of days. That's all you can do. Gives me a couple of pills to take prescription and gets out the door. Time passes, my neck feels better, and I get a bill for $600. And I was like, good goddamn, that is a lot more than I ever thought I was gonna pay. I thought it was gonna be in like the $300 range, $600. I'm looking at the breakdown of this. It says emergency room admission, $2,500 that was billed to my insurance, and then I had to pay the remaining 600 because they didn't feel like paying, and there was a number. To call. So I called, talked to a woman, and she goes, oh, well, $2,500 is a level five emergency. It means it was uh, one of our highest level emergencies. Can we redo that? Because I only saw the doctor for five minutes. I was waiting for three hours. I, I feel like that's not accurate. She's like, sure, sure. We'll do an audit. If you haven't heard from us in two weeks, give us a call and you might get another bill or two. Uh, just ignore those. Okay, good. Fine, sounds good. So I did get another bill or two in the mail. So today I call, grab the bill, call the number, and I go, hey, so um, I requested an audit. I just wanted to get the findings. The woman's like, huh, yeah, I don't have any notes that you called. I mean, this is a doctor's bill. What, what's the difference? Well, we billed your insurance and they wouldn't cover the doctor. So we're billing you. Turns out the hospital that I looked up to make sure was covered by my insurance sent me to a doctor that somehow isn't covered by my insurance. This is a separate 600 something dollar bill. So I've got a $600 bill for just my body being present in that hospital. And then another 600 something dollars for the doctor. If I hadn't even seen the doctor, it'd still be about $800 just to wait in the hospital, just to be there. Ha! <laughs> beef. I got beef. Curtains. Ha! <laughs> Vaginas. There's my second channel. There's another rant I did at some point in time, and there's another video. Social media bullshit is in the downstairs. Follow me on Snapchat if you're doing that. This whole video started as a little rant I was doing on Snapchat. I'm usually just like a 10 second a day kind of person. None of that 100 second plus business. Come on guys, your life is not that interesting.
If you have any suggestions for videos you want to see me do, just leave me a little comment. Leave me a little comment telling me how ludicrous the American healthcare system is. Okay, bye!